The Barbados Food and Rum Festival is back after a two-year hiatus. Scores of people, including visitors, thronged Golden Square Freedom Park in Bridgetown last Friday evening for the official launch of the event, which had traditionally been a major feature on the tourism calendar. This year's festival takes place from October 27 to 30 under the theme Feed the Future, and event organizer April Thomas said not only would it be giving back via scholarships, the aim is to make it a national festival. So this year, obviously after a two-year hiatus, we really need to make sure that the festival that we brought back was going to be impactful in a number of ways. So we know that we always go a bit for you have a good time being like a park chef, our mixologist, locally and the international visitors as well. But this year we wanted to also create a festival that was going to be a green green in the Barbadian community in a way that impacted a number of people. And so even after October when it's done, we can feel like we're still seeing the effects of the festival. And that's why you'll see everybody with the feet shirts on the back and the Feed the Future theme this year really highlights our commitment to giving back to the community and also to paying that fund forward that we're having here by looking at specifically the culinary arts and how tourism can help push that forward because a lot of people associate tourism with the traditional roles but they don't see necessarily our chefs, our bartenders, our mixologists as a part of tourism but they are and so we want to be able to contribute to the product that we're putting forward and that way we'll be able to sustain tourism going forward. So the Feed the Future initiative is actually going to be three scholarships that we're going to be doing this year for Barbadians to further their studies locally and one of them to further them internationally. So that's the real big difference with the festival this year is giving back as a part of the community is bringing everybody together but still a fun time for all to have. Originally the, the, the emphasis was on tourists, visitors, but it seems to have more Barbadian flavor this year. Yeah. What is going to be your appeal to visitors? Okay. So in the first instance, we want to make this a national festival. That is our goal. We have over and everybody knows about that and Barbadians are part of that from beginning to end. And because Barbadians are part of that from beginning to end, visitors love it. Visitors come here and they don't want to just have fun in the back. They want to be immersed in the culture, they want to see what's happening and they want to be a part of it too. So we're bringing Barbadians along with that, so we're seeing even a greater emphasis like the Cain we had today through the communities through Bridgetown and bringing them forward. But then we're also making sure that you know we're focusing on things like the airlift to make sure that we have the accommodations and everything else for the visitors when they come. So it's a balancing act, but we're focused on both of them for sure. Meanwhile, Minister of Tourism Senator Lisa Cummings said the 2022 Barbados Food and Rum Festival has already been launched in some of Barbados's major source markets. We are launching it here today, and so for those of us who are based in Barbados, it may look as though it is an entirely local component, but as we also said, people are coming here to be able to experience Barbados and Barbadians, and so this is very much a part of what we're going to be doing. But we have already launched this in the UK in our source markets, which is our major market for visitors. So this has already been launched there, is already in partnership with our uh, National Geographic Traveler as a partner in the UK. It has been launched in our Canadian source market and so we're going to be launching partnerships with one of our airline partners. You'll hear a little bit more about that in time to come. It has already been launched in the US and so we're going to be partnering with our US based partners as well. So this is as, as much international as it is local and it's not either or for us, it is as, as well as.